It has been a while and I think that my nose is ready to have some extraction. So let's get into it. Hey guys, it's V. So today we are doing another pore strip party video. You are all invited to the pore strip party to extract some sebum from my nostril area. Not my nostrils, that would be um, extremely painful. From my nose area here, we are going to use the Cream Shop Three Steps Included, Three Strips Included, sorry, Strawberry Nose Three Step Blackhead Remover. So if you can see, this is the packaging, super cute. This is a Korean beauty product, I believe. I got mine from a store called Box Lunch and it, it was $6.90 for this one, but I saw it also on Hot Topics website, so you can also get it there. I don't know if they have it in stores or not, but it's super cute. I actually have a brush from this brand, The Cream Shop, that I think I got at like Home Goods or something. So they sell it all around and you know, you can find it. I'll put a link to it in my description box, of course, like I always do, but we are just gonna get into testing this baby out today. So in terms of the three different steps, the first step here is going to open up pores to prep for blackhead removal. Step two is going to remove dead skin and deep blackheads. And step three is going to nourish and reduce the size of pores. So I only have one of these today. I only bought one. So Blake is not with me next time. He will be though, because I have a couple other pore strip things that I am still ready to test for you guys. But we're going to start out with this one today because it's just too cute to pass up. So we are going to go ahead and start with step one. It says after cleansing, which my face is perfectly cleansed. The only thing I have on is some mask because that's all I wore today. This is exactly how my face was all day long. So I just thought I would leave it and film a pore strip video for you guys. So after cleansing, place pore prepping strip directly on nose for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove strip and discard. Follow immediately with strip number two. So we are just going to go ahead and start out here. We're going to rip this apart with the perforated edge. And this first one has a very, very sad little strawberry on the top. He is just, he's very sad. I don't know why he's sad because he should be excited because we're about to rip out some blackheads. He is just helping us with the whole process. So first let me zoom in so you guys can see, or not zoom in, let me stand up and get super close so you guys can see. This is what my nose currently looks like. It's been probably a good month to month and a half since I've done a pore strip. So that's what my nose is currently looking like. So let's just take this one out of its little packaging here and uh, put it on my nose. Wait the 15 to 20 minutes oh it's like deep down in there it is folded up okay <laughs> couldn't see it in there there we go okay so it's folded up really really tiny so let's go ahead and oh it's got a very um minty smell almost that's that's different than I've ha had before but okay so this is what the pore strip looks like it's just a basic kind of um, sheet mask sort of texture so just gonna apply that onto the nose Ooh, it's cold Let's hope it doesn't make my eyes water with how cold it is. But okay, so we're just going to evenly apply that. Oops, it's dripping on me. It's dripping. It's very wet. Okay, so I'm just going to apply that onto the nose and uh, we're going to set the timer. What did it say? 15 to 20 minutes? Yes. So we're going to set our timer for 15 minutes and I will be back with you guys. Alrighty, so 15 minute timer. Let's go ahead and go. Where am I pressing? That's not the right area. We're going to set the timer to start and I will be back with you guys in a little bit and we can see what this does to my face. Usually it doesn't do much, but we'll go ahead and uh, check back in. Got just about a couple more seconds here until the 15 minutes is up and now we are up. All right, so timer done here and let's go ahead and just take this off. You guys can see what it looks like when we take it off. It's really not very exciting. It still smells very minty, but um, I did feel it kind of tingling, I'll say a little tiny bit on my nose. So, I mean, that's good. I, uh, I hope that that means that it has gotten the sebum ready to be extracted. So um, let's see what step two says here. It says place pour extracting strip directly on nose for 10 to 15 minutes, remove strip and discard, follow immediately with step three. So this one did not say to add water to it. Hmm. It says follow immediately. So I feel like I'm just supposed to follow immediately after doing this. It doesn't say to put anything on there, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to go grab some water really quickly and uh, water my nose so that it's ready for this pore strip and it will actually stick. I guess I just believe in giving a pore strip its best chance at uh, extracting blackheads. So we are going to wet down my nose here. <laughs> 
too much water okay we're gonna wet down my nose here and get it all nice and moist so that the pore strip will stick to it and hopefully get some blackheads out of my nose so let's rip off step two here this one says 10 to 15 minutes so we'll see how long it takes to actually dry out but let's take it out of its package here oh i think it's pink oh that's cute okay you guys can't really tell here but you can tell on this side right maybe a little bit let's see here you can kind of see right there that it's pink okay so let's go ahead and take this off and put it on my nose i'm just gonna I wet it again just one more really quick time because I swear I just feel like I want to give it the best chance you know I want my nose to be as wet as it possibly can be so that this can stick because I need it to work because I got some major blackheads right now okay so let's go ahead and stick this pore strip on first I'm gonna rip these little inserts because it makes it a little bit easier to apply and let's just put it on my nose This one is very small. It's not gonna go on the tip of my nose at all. So there's that, but okay. So let's go ahead and squeeze this one on here, press it down into the skin. It does feel like it's sticking good because I have lots of water on there. So that part is good. Okay, so this one said 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set like a 12 minute timer. Let's go 13 minutes here. So we have 13 minutes, just gonna hit start. And I will be back with you guys when this ends up drying and we can see what happens. All right, you guys, we got a couple seconds left and then we can get down to the peeling. Timer is done. So let's go ahead and zoom you guys in super up. I was gonna say super up mega close. That sounds stupid. I'm gonna zoom you guys in super up close so you can see this thing being peeled out of my face. Off of my face. I cannot talk today. It's fine. No big deal. Oh, so now you can kind of see the pinkness of it on here. I was worried you guys weren't gonna be able to tell that it was pink, but you can kind of see that since it got wet a little bit, it's gotten a little bit pinker. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start peeling up here from the side and you guys can see what it's doing it feels pretty dang sticky so i'm hoping that that's a good sign it feels like it's doing a lot of work here so y'all let me know if it is <laughs> that feels pretty good peeling up on this side now feels like we're doing good things so I really hope that we are doing good things. So now let's go ahead and take it from the bottom here. We're just going to pop this off. Cause with those little, those little dents, those little um, creases in there, the little slits, it makes it a little harder to peel up. So now we're just going to peel it up. Woo, all right. Whoa, oh my god. Okay, getting this wet was definitely a good idea because you guys, that thing really went ham on my nose pores. I don't know if you guys can see in my close up, but y'all know I always show you a macro close up as well, but this did a really good job. As far as I can see, it got a ton ton of blackheads especially in like the creases of my nose and on the top of my nose like this thing went to town okay so immediately after peeling you guys can see what my nose looks like i'm gonna go ahead and take a look in the mirror here but it looks like it took out a lot of blackheads. It did leave some white residue, as you guys can probably see a little bit of just some like flaky residue on there. That doesn't really bother me, never has, never will. But um, yeah, I think this did a pretty dang good job. I can still see a couple blackheads, but also this one only stopped like right about here. So any blackheads that are below here, it didn't grab obviously because it wasn't on that area. Okay, so now that the residue is gone, that's what my nose is currently looking like so you guys can see it did make it a little bit red but you know when you're peeling tape off your skin it usually makes it red also so that's basically what this kind of stuff is so that is what it looks like and let's go ahead and move on to step numero trace <laughs> <laughs> number three <laughs> move on to step number three which is let's see here it says place pore minimizing strip directly onto nose and leave on for five to ten minutes remove strip and discard and you're all set that's exactly what it says on the directions here so let's go ahead and peel her 
her little face, her cute little winking face. We're gonna peel it right in half. <laughs> And we're just gonna take the little strip out. These ones definitely do not stay flat in their container. Like this one is like somewhat flat, but it's still folded up a little bit in there. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty much exactly the same as step number one. The only difference is this one is supposed to close your pores. And this one feels a little bit more gooey than the number one did. This one feels a little bit more gel-like and it smells different. It smells sweet. It smells kind of like candy. Yeah, definitely smells very different. The other one smelled minty. Okay, so we've got that on the face and we are just going to wait our five to 10 minutes. I believe this one said that much. Seven minutes here, timer start, and I will be back with you guys to see how it looks afterwards. Our bed is so creaky. It's been taken apart and put together way too many times. All right, we are down to the five second countdown here and we are just about done with this entire pore strip set. Our right timer is done. Let's exit out of there and let's go ahead and take this one off. I do feel again, a little bit of tingling just like I felt with the first one, which is a good sign. Um, usually this one wants you to tap it in. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit on my face here. This one feels Oh, very ooey gooey, achy sticky. It's not really sticky per se, but it is very gooey feeling. It feels like a serum on my face here. So it's kind of a lot, like it's a little too much for me to uh, pat into my skin completely. But let me just get super up close and personal with you guys. You can see what my nose is looking like. I definitely think that this pore strip helped me out quite a bit in the blackhead department. I think that it took quite a few of my blackheads out, so I am super happy about that. So all in all, I had a good experience with this Cream Shop Strawberry Little Nose Pack. I'm kind of confused as to why it was called strawberry because none of it really smelled like strawberries to me and none of it really looked like strawberries to me. So I mean, that part doesn't really correlate to me, but other than that, for $6.90, which is a little bit on the pricier side for this. At least it worked really, really well and got a ton of my blackheads off. Like you guys saw that macro close-up shot. That was a lot of blackheads that it got out of my nose and it definitely needed it. It has been a couple of weeks since I've done a pore strip. So I like this one. I totally recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this pore strip party video. If you did, be sure to show some love to the like button. It's right down here. It really helps me out. And if you subscribe, you can be a member of my Muse family. And I love you guys so so much. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys!